um, I was born with a hole in my heart, which is considered atrial septal defect. So I'm an advocate with the Heart Association, and I enjoy doing what I do. The American Heart Association has set a goal to train a million people in CPR. We hope that they will take their CPR Anytime kit home and train their family and friends. And then we hope that they will tell others to get trained during CPR and AED Awareness Week. The American Heart and Stroke Association is important to me because my unborn baby had a stroke. The American Heart and Stroke Association is important to me because they have shown me that I'm not alone. I support the American Heart Association because I'm interested in having the younger generation live a healthier life so they don't go through what I went through. Because of all of the advocacy work that they do. Because I'm a transplant. It's given me the opportunity to meet other survivors, other girls like myself who have been through a stroke or have heart disease in the family and otherwise might not have had the chance. volunteer every year. I was actually in uh, Stanford, Stanford uh, dying, waiting for a uh, heart for a transplant. Uh, I'm able to be here today to uh, advocate how strongly important this is and uh, the reasons why we fight on for this. Another couple days I'll be a one year anniversary so that's, that's quite the achievement. I'm uh, here in Washington DC basically I would say celebrating a second chance on life which not too many of us ever get the opportunity to do. Why does one of our bodies of comprehensive health care reform? I almost lost my mother at 46 to heart disease and the same summer I was diagnosed with a cardiovascular condition. Advocacy is one of the best ways that you can have prevention for heart disease. It's one of the main ways that you can spread awareness and through spreading awareness people will be able to know why we need research for heart disease and stroke because it's no longer an old people's disease. But all three of us are survivors either from a stroke or from heart disease. I was having the strokes because I have a hole in my heart and uh, once that got diagnosed I got to have the hole in my heart fixed and so now I haven't had any strokes since and I'm actually at no more risk than anyone else. I'm very thankful for all the past research that has happened because that helped me to live a better life and have a brighter future. I think that's the most important thing you can do is find out what your risks are and also have a partnership with your doctor, be in a partnership with your doctor. Uh, we're excited about the kind of response we're getting. We think we're at a pivotal time in the United States right now with uh, President Obama willing to back the kind of uh, reform that we know is necessary and fund the kind of research which is essential to address the number one killer in the United States, which is heart disease, and the number three killer in the United States, which is stroke. It's the right thing to do. Well, you bet. I appreciate you guys taking the time. It's really worth it. understand that there are new examinations. Or... We struggle disproportionately with um, a, a patient population. 
This organization is important for me because you get to meet people who have the same, who has stroke, heart attacks, and all kinds of stuff just like you. So, so you don't feel lonely in the world by yourself. It has been established today around advocacy and networking. I, I look forward to your thoughts and feedback as we can. Most people feel they are lonely, but it touches everybody, and that's why I'm involved, because when I tell my story, other people open up and tell their story.